Hey, welcome to SK Lifestyle. So if you see my last video, gonna put the link up above, I did get a brand new Galaxy S10. And it's just about a week old, not even. And of course, these phones these days are so expensive, you really don't want to really mess it up at all, especially if you don't have uh, like an insurance plan or something like that. So cases are everything. For me, I also watch a lot of videos, so I like a case that has a kickstand. It's just convenient if it can be built in with it. And on top of that, I really like to have a credit card with me wherever I go. So even if you forget your wallet or your keys somewhere or whatever, you're always gonna have your cell phone. It's just the way we are these days. So if I can have a, uh, at least a credit card with me as well, it makes me feel a little better. Almost any situation I'm in, I can either withdraw money from ATM or I can just swipe. Um, of course, these phones have uh, the Samsung Pay, which I'm using now too, but that'll be a separate video. So the case I used to have was a lot larger. Um, it had a big flap in the back for credit cards and stuff, and I wanted something a little slimmer, maybe something a little more uh, cool looking, you know, and uh, you know, better colors and stuff. So I went on Amazon, of course, SK with Amazon, and I found this. It's from CoverOn, and I'll put the exact uh, model and price and everything in the description down below. Um, and it came, you know, a day later because two days can't wait. This can't wait anymore. Two days too long. <laughs> so anyway. This is what it looks like. There's no paperwork or anything. I don't really think you need it. Just comes like this little cardboard insert that says S10. Don't need that. This is the case. Looks really techish. You know what I mean? It looks very modern. I definitely like it. I like the black and red, of course. Um, it has the kickstand, this piece right here. So you can have the kickstand standing like that, facing upwards, or you can leave it so that it's on its side. And, you know, that's definitely a, a really great feature. Again, it's just like that. And then you got the credit card piece right here. And it's pretty tight. Um, a lot of them just say one credit card. But honestly, it's just rubber and plastic. If you want to, you can peel it open and jam another one in there. I've done it before. Yeah, after time, it'll loosen up a bit, but you're fine. So what do I really think about it? You probably want to know because either you're just checking out the video, more than likely you're kind of interested in a new case, especially the, perhaps this one, and you want to know what it's like. Well, I got my beautiful S10 right here, and it literally just slides right in. So some of the things about the phone. Uh, number one to be aware of, it doesn't have a huge lip around it. So if it sits down on the, on the ground, it's just barely clearing the screen. So if your phone lands like this and there's pebbles on the ground, which I think there always is, it's probably gonna hit your screen and scratch it. Now hopefully you have a screen protector, that sort of thing. But my other one had a very big lip at the corners. So you needed a, a pebble or a rock that was probably more than like a quarter inch tall or eighth of an inch before it could even touch the screen. Um, so that's one thing to note. It's kind of putting me off a little bit, but that's what you get when you want a slimmer, you know, designed case. So I'm kind of seeing how it goes. I'm also going to be putting on the tempered glass, so I'll have a lot less worry. And of course, that uh, video will be up soon, and I'll definitely put that review up so you guys can see how that works. Um, now, other things. How do the buttons fit? Well, you can see here. They, they work very well. Honestly, the buttons on the side of this uh, case kind of feel as if it's part of the phone itself. So it's a very tight fitting case. It is made to a very good uh, specification, I guess I should say. Um, of course, there's no uh, cover up from any of the cameras and stuff back there. And oh, I know you like that 3D Spider-Man wallpaper, yeah. <laughs> um, so that's definitely nice. Now, I have seen some of the reviews on Amazon are saying that this is going to fail after a while. I kind of thought at first, the first day, I was like, nah, this, this is tight. And honestly, this mechanism up here, I don't really think it's going to break. But if you can notice this, like watch. You see that hang down? I've only had this case for less than a week because I haven't even had the phone for a week. So... I mean, the fact that it drops down, like, I don't think it's going to really drop down anymore. But if it does, it's already kind of annoying when I hold the phone to just keep feeling it flapping in my fingers. 
and then to know that one day it may just keep drooping out like this I don't know I, it's not really a good look um, so I don't know the other thing is this while it does have the kickstand it's not built into the case they have it raised up you see that there so when you put the phone down it's always kind of just teetering you know what I mean like it's not just pressed against the 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 table and that's one other thing that I don't really care for with the, with this case um, the stippling uh, like the grip pieces right here um, those feel really good it definitely gives you a nice grip while it's in your hands uh, and that's important uh, because a lot of these cases are a lot of rubber but uh, a lot of plastic too so it can just slip through you want something you can grab on especially when you're grabbing the phone to like press the on off button I don't like feeling my hand slip and then I keep missing it or, or the volume see how I got my hand and then you could just grab the volume the phone's not going anywhere so what else can I really say about this case um you know the styling great uh, the comfortability great um, the accessories you know what I mean like what what features it has great now as far as protection I'd probably rate that maybe like uh, 6 out of 10 just because you know the lips I still feel like the lips could be even just a little higher even another you know two two millimeters would make a big difference especially for a lot of people <clears throat> if you don't have like glass or something on your screen then this can be what helps you a little bit more avert uh, damage to your screen. So that and the kickstand piece, between it being raised up and between it already just being loose after week one, I mean, even today, even right now, it looks like it's dropping a little lower than it was this morning. So I'm not really too sure about that, um, you know, how I feel about that. Well, I guess I do. I don't like it. Um, am I going to send back the case? Probably not. Um, I do think it looks really good it definitely serves a purpose so even if I do go back to my other case which obviously I'll have to get it for this version of phone I think I'll still keep it because there may still be situations where I want a sleeker uh, uh, you know what I mean profile to my case uh, on a certain day or something like that um, you know my other one had the cards in the kickstand too um, so that's not really that much difference but for ten bucks you know I like it I, I don't know if I really want to spend three bucks to send it back and all that kind of nonsense so I'm probably gonna keep it um, but those are just some things to think about uh, would I suggest buying this case I guess yes I, I, I haven't had it long enough to know what's gonna happen with this so if, if it ends up drooping all the way then I'd probably say no go find another one but overall it's really stylish it fits well it looks great it has some good features it's pretty cheap it's ten bucks um, so what can I say? I'd say overall, yeah, probably get it, but I'd say shop around. Maybe there's something else better for you. Um, I know a lot of the kickstands are plastic, but I've, all my plastic kickstands, I've never seen them get loose. Uh, I even had one other metal kickstand uh, that was kind of like spring-loaded, and that one never had a problem either. So definitely a drawback on the kickstand, um, but it's better to have the feature, I guess, than not. So yeah, that's pretty much my review. Um, what do you think? Do you have this case? Uh, have you used it for a long time? What do you think about it? Are you interested in this case? What are your thoughts now that you heard what I think about it? What were your uh, what were your issues or, or or what were you worried about prior to purchasing this case? Um, what cases do you have? Do you have a case that's way cooler than this that has way better features? Let me know because I'm still in the market. I'm not done shopping, and you know. Everybody else would like to know too. So if I get a new one because you suggested it, I'll definitely give you a shout out. And I'll also do a review on it so everyone else knows how great it is too. So with that said, I appreciate you watching my channel, SK Lifestyle. If you don't know the motto, carpe diem, be thankful, strive to be happy. And I will see you guys next time, SK Lifestyle.